Today on our 2012 Jeep Wrangler, we're going to be test fitting the Serco spare tire mounted cargo carrier. It measures 19 by 43 and it offers a 100 pound weight capacity. Its part number is SPSJ4319. Now to begin our test fit, we're going to set the carrier aside. We need to remove the spare tire from the vehicle. Most of them are going to have three lug nuts here, holding them in place. This one in particular has a wheel lock on it. We'll get that one off. And finally our third. It's a good idea anytime you have all the nuts up just to kind of keep some pressure on it to keep it from falling off. Are they going to take a rubber handled screwdriver or you know, whatever you have that's nice and soft? And we're going to tap out the center cap in our spare tire there. Let's see, we've got that removed. And I'll set the spare up against something so it's easily accessible. And we're going to remove the mounting plate from our cargo carrier. Just one bolt, easy to take out. We'll then bring our mounting plate over to our vehicle and we need to get it positioned. As you can see, we've got several different options to fit several different types of vehicles, but we need to get it to position to where all three of the lugs here come through the, uh, the face of that plate. We'll then bring our spare tire back in. We're going to bring the long part of the shank here through the middle of the spare tire. And then we'll put it right back up onto our lugs here. There we go now. You can see that the shank of that's going to come right through the center of the spare tire. And we've got our three lug nuts facing back out there. So we're going to take or the three studs sticking out. We'll take our lug nuts and we're going to thread them back on there. Again, anytime you don't have a lug nut on, securing that to the vehicle, it's a good idea to keep a hand on it. Certainly don't want it bouncing off there coming after you. I like to give those three or four good turns before I use any kind of a wrench or anything just to make sure we don't have them cross threaded. And we'll just start torquing them down. All right, with our spare Titan back on there to specification, we'll bring our cargo carrier in. We'll slide the shank coming through our spare tire into the shank coming off the carrier. We'll slide the bolt through. We're going to put a washer on this side as we slide it in, a second washer and then a nylon lock nut there. Then we just need to get this tightened down. All right, with that nice and secure on the back of our Wrangler, we're going to load the Serco spare tire mounted cargo carrier up with about a hundred pounds and we'll take it through our test course just so you can see exactly how it's going to operate on the back of our 2012 Jeep Wrangler. Again, that's Serco cargo carrier. Its part number is SP SJ4319.